Hi, I'm Morgan from the very unofficial travel guides and I'm here today on the Royal Caribbean Navigator of the Seas. The Navigator of the Seas is gigantic and there's really no way I can show you everything in one video. But I'm going to do my best to try to show you the highlights of the ship, the things I think you need to see, and the places where I know you're going to spend the most time. Let's go! Hopefully the only thing you will ever see from deck one is the gangway, which is the ramp leading in and out of the ship. I say that because the only other things on deck one are the medical center and the jail, and hopefully none of you will be spending much time there. Moving on up to deck two, the only real thing of interest on deck two is the small movie theater called the screening room, which is actually part of the conference center. Deck three is where the fun begins. On the back of the ship on deck three is the main entrance to the main dining room. This is a gigantic, very elegant three-story space with entrances on decks four and five too. Check your CPASS card to see which entrance you are assigned to. In the middle of deck three is Studio B, which is the onboard ice arena. Yes, I mean ice skating arena. It's used for open skating, big production shows similar to Stars on Ice, or if you're as old as me, you might remember the Ice Capades, and the hilarious interactive adults only game show called The Quest. If you like to see adults make total fools out of themselves, then don't miss the quest. And at the front of the ship on Deck 3 is the main entrance to the Metropolis Theatre, which is where the fantastic musical production shows take place, as well as guest artists and headliner appearances and game shows like the newlywed game called Love and Marriage on Royal Caribbean. In the middle of the ship on deck four, you'll find Bolero's Bar, which has live music at night and is the place to go if you like salsa dancing. Continuing on towards the front of the ship, we come to the Mardi Gras themed Casino Royale. It's like a little slice of Vegas right here on the ship with table games and slots. However, unlike in Vegas, here you have to pay for your drinks. Continuing through the casino and out the other side, we come to the entrance of the dungeon. The Dungeon is a medieval-themed dance club which features different music on different nights, including dance, top 40, and they even had an MJ night when we were on board. And across from the entrance to the dungeon, I mean, The Dungeon, you'll find the Schooner Bar, which is a popular hangout for pre-theater drinks, and the place for fun trivia games like Name That Tune. These games are always very entertaining, and if you're lucky, you might go home with some free souvenirs. Deck 5, otherwise known as the Royal Promenade, is basically the heart of the ship. It's full of shops and the occasional parade or nighttime dance party, and is also where you'll find the explorations and guest relations counters. It's bright during the day and is darkened down at night for a cool nighttime atmosphere, which makes having a pint in the two poets or a glass of wine in vintages even more special. One of the most important hotspots in the Royal Promenade is the Cafe Promenade, which is the place to get snacks and goodies basically 24 hours a day. Sandwiches, pizza, cookies, cake, and coffee and tea, and they're all included in the price of your cruise. At the front of the ship on deck 5 is the Ixtapa Lounge, which is the place to go for live music, karaoke, game shows, and bingo! And we're going to make a big jump upwards now, past several decks of cabins, to deck 11. What would a cruise be like if there wasn't a buffet restaurant? Here on deck 11, at the back of the ship, you'll find the Windjammer, as well as the specialty restaurants Chops and Portofino. There are so many dining options on board that I'll be making an extra video just about them, but in the meantime, take a look at some of the options during lunch in the Windjammer. Mmm, cake. Also on deck 11 are the two pool areas. You've got what I call the party pool, with two pools, six hot tubs, two bars, and live music or a DJ, and there's also the adults only pool, which is much more relaxed, quiet, and has a Venetian flair. At the very front of the ship on deck 11 is the fitness center, which is a great place to burn off some of the extra calories you picked up in the buffet with an amazing view out over the ocean. There are also men's and women's saunas and steam rooms to relax in, and it's all included in the price of your cruise. Deck 12 is the place for the younger cruisers, as there are all kinds of activities designed for the under 18 crowd. The Challengers Arcade has tons of new and old arcade games, and parents can charge credits onto the kids' CPASS cards to keep track of how much they spend. 
Through the arcade, you'll also find the daycare-like kids' areas for the younger kids, which offer structured daily activities to keep the kids busy while you're relaxing at the pool or winning big at blackjack. There's even a dance club-like area for the teenagers to hang out in called the living room. Check out the Royal Caribbean website for more info about their kids' programs. Also on Deck 12 is Johnny Rockets, a themed diner restaurant. For a $5 cover charge, you can eat all the burgers and fries you want, and it's the only restaurant on board with outdoor seating. Check out that view. Okay, we're almost done. Deck 13 is for the active cruisers. Up here, there are all kinds of sporty activities, including mini golf, a multi-purpose court for basketball, soccer, and even dodgeball tournaments, an inline skating course, and the famous rock climbing wall. Once again, all included in the price of your cruise. So to everyone who's made it to the end of this video, you must really be interested in cruising. If you're planning a trip, feel free to ask any questions in the comments below this video, or check out my page over at Facebook to see thousands of pictures of this and other cruises, as well as tourist destinations around the world. See you soon!